Police are asking for your help tonight to identify a man who was shot to death and found a week later in Morgan County. Neighbors tell our Mary Mills this kind of crime is unusual there, and it has them scared. Here along Man Road, a heavily traveled two-lane road in Morgan County. The worst thing we ever have here are accidents on this road. Neighbors are understandably a bit on edge. There's a lot of bad things that happen, but you just don't see it happening that much on the outskirts of Indianapolis. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a scary feeling. A body found just off the road in a steep ditch Friday afternoon is now being investigated as a homicide. The autopsy shows the person died of a gunshot wound, his body here in the brush for about a week. Well, there's enough traffic, you would think somebody would have saw something, you know, taking a body out of a vehicle and dumping it. Probably happened at night. We talked to the woman who found the body. She said she was out here with her dogs. They ran off when they smelled something. She said she smelled something too, thought it was a dead animal. But when she went to look, she saw the body. Again, investigators say the ditch, the thick trees lining the stretch of Man Road made it virtually impossible for anyone driving by to see. The sheriff is asking for help in identifying the victim. Said to be a white male, 25 to 40 years old, with long dark hair, both ears pierced, and wearing a t-shirt like this one. I hope they figure out who it is, and I'm being honest, I mean, I hope, you know, I mean, obviously you feel sorry for whatever situation is, but hope it didn't occur here or had anything to do with here. The sheriff says there's no cause for worry. Nothing for those folks or the folks in Morgan County to be uh, concerned about. Um, it's unfortunate it happened, obviously, when we don't want it to happen, but uh, we're not fearful that this any, anything else is going to happen. Neighbors like investigators are eager for answers, wanting to know who died, who killed him, and why. I feel bad for the family. Somebody's son, you know, passed away, so it's definitely a big tragedy. Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.